Brothers and sisters, this is Brother Joel. I'm in Philippi, Greece. And this is where Paul baptized Lydia. Right there is a place where they would baptize people just like I found in Israel and I also found in Lebanon. Exactly the same. And so we're going to read about how it came about that Paul was to baptize Lydia. And so in the book of Acts, chapter 16, we see that uh, Paul wants to go to Asia, but the Holy Spirit holds him back. And so reading from verse 7, after they had come to Messiah, they tried to go to Bethania, but the Spirit did not permit them. So passing Messiah, they came down to Troas, and a vision appeared to Paul in the night. A man of Macedonia stood and pleaded with him, saying, Come over to Macedonia and help us. Now after he had seen this vision, immediately he sought to go to Macedonia, concluding that the Lord had called us to preach the gospel there. You see, brothers and sisters, he listened to the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is the overseer of the church. And we have to listen and what he wants, he will guide and direct your path. And so they came to Neapolis and from there to Philippi. And that's where we are today, standing here in Philippi, brothers and sisters. The foremost city of that part of Macedonia, a colony. And we were staying at this city for some days. And on the Sabbath day, we went out to the city, to the riverside, where prayer was custom and made. And we sat down and spoke to the women who met there. And now a certain woman named Lydia heard us. She was a seller of purple from the city of Tyratara, who worshiped God. And the Lord opened her heart to heed to the things by Paul had spoken. And when she and her household were baptized, she begged us saying, if you have judged me to be faithful, come to my house and stay. And so she persuaded us. You see, she was hospitable. Her house was worthy, brothers and sisters. And she got baptized. And you see, the Holy Spirit knew that Lydia was praying, praying earnestly. And you see, God hears all of our prayers. And he doesn't care if you have no prestige or a high position. You're just a common person. He hears all of our prayers, brothers and sisters. And he brought the great man of God away from going to the two places he wanted to preach. And he was wise enough to follow the Holy Spirit so he could bring him to this place to baptize Lydia, that righteous woman who believed in God. And God heard her prayers. So brothers and sisters, always know that God in here and sees everything. And now I'm going to read from Matthew 10. It says, Now whatever city or town you enter, inquire who is worthy, and stay there till you go out. And when you go into a household, greet it. If the household is worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it is not worthy, let your peace return to you. And whoever will not receive you, nor hear your words, when you depart from that house or that city, Shake off the dust from your feet. Surely I say to you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in that day of judgment than for that city. So brothers and sisters, if you encounter someone that is a follower of Jesus and he is preaching the gospel, uh, welcome him. And you will be blessed on top of blessings for you. Have been so hospitable like Lydia was. Amen. Amen. So brothers and sisters, I'm so glad I could share this wonderful place 
that Lydia got baptized by Paul. <laughs>